that, West Bromwich Albion had 23 attempts to burn these 11. Eight of those on target, eventually one of those counted. Incidentally, Vincent Company's Burnley have had a brilliant start. Possession and everything that they've had all season so far. And Vincent Company did say at the end that they were looking a little bit leggy. So it's going to be interesting to see if that new style of play can continue throughout the season. And Kelly, EFL clubs have also been very busy in the transfer market this week. They have indeed. Before I come on to tell you about a few of the confirmed deadline day deals in the last few days, these deals that were done that I've picked out, I did want to also pick out West Bromwich Albion. They nearly made two more signings on deadline day. They thought they were going to get Fulham's Josh Onomar and Brighton's Stephen Alzate. They agreed terms and everything, but the paperwork didn't get done on time. Fortunately, these deals did get done for the other clubs. As I was saying there, Brandon Thomas Asante signing from Salford City on Wednesday. His goal last night means it's six goals in eight matches for West Brom and Salford. Talith Chong returning to Birmingham where he was previously on loan. We've got two Chelsea loanies. They're not on the screen there, but Dujon Sterling and Harvey Vale are now at Stoke and Hull City. And interestingly, Watford did manage to keep hold of both Ishmael Asar and Joao Pedro despite interest from the Premier League. And talking of Premier League interest, Peterborough also kept hold of Ronnie Edwards, their centre-back. He was heavily linked with Chelsea. Uh, they've also brought in Kellen Watts from Newcastle on loan. He was at Wigan last season, you might remember. Ipswich Town replaced Tyree Simpson, who left for Huddersfield, with two deadline day signings from fellow League One sides. Uh, they got Adame from Burton and Camara from Plymouth. And in League Two, some Premier League loan moves, a few familiar faces. Matty Longstaff has gone to Colchester United. Manchester United's Ethan Galbraith has gone to Salford City. And Chelsea have also lined out, I can never say his surname properly, Chukwemeka. Uh, his brother Caleb has signed for Crawley from Aston Villa. But the most emotional move is the one at the bottom of my screen. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard this story, Jason, but Jay Stansfield has signed on loan for Exeter City from Fulham. Now, you may also remember that Jay Stansfield actually got an assist for Fulham in the Premier League earlier this season, but the reason this one is emotional is because he returns to the club where his father, Adam, used to play and he passed away due to bowel cancer aged 31 while still an Exeter player. They actually retired the number nine shirt for 12 years, but now his son is back at Exeter City wearing that famous number nine shirt. So really oh, nice story there. What a lovely story. Kelly, thank you very much indeed. See you throughout the afternoon. Thank you. Well, Spurs play.